So are our government officers, senior government officers, whether they are from the IIS, whether they are from the IPS or indeed the IRS, the new Rajas, the VVIP Rajas who can get away with special privileges that the Aam Admi cannot, particularly in the national capital and dare I say state capitals across the country. Joining me now is Shailesh Gandhi, former Central Information Commissioner and an anti-corruption activist. Joining me also is M.N. Singh, former IPS officer, former Commissioner of Police in Mumbai, will join me in a moment. Ajay Dua, former IAS officer and a secretary to the Government of India, joins me. I want your first reactions to this story because it's a, a story that many will say Ajay Dua reflects all that is wrong with the IAS. A belief that you can get away with certain special privileges that the Aam Admi cannot. A stadium is locked out for athletes but is not locked out for the senior bureaucrat to take his dog for a walk. What does that say about the state of our bureaucrats at times, sir? Rajdeep, I would totally agree with what has been said by your reporters uh, before you, that this was a re reprehensible act, something which is no good for anyone, leave alone an IAS officer, a stadium which was, which was built with public money, 300 crores sometimes in 2010, mm -hmm. and was used as a site for the mm -hmm. Commonwealth netball tournaments, can, cannot be mm -hmm. got vacated from athletes, budding or of certain standing, merely because someone else, maybe a secretary to the government of Delhi, because government of Delhi owns the stadium, is coming, or maybe anyone else, that for his private use, the stadium is being got vacated from people who are meant to But is it, but, but with, it. Sir, sir, with due now regard, with, sir, with, due, with due regard, Mr. Dua, is this an exception of the rule? I'll give you an example. In Mumbai, for example, a few years ago, IS officers demanded permanent membership for a club. When they were not being given it, they used their clout to say they would take over the grounds of the club and they would deny the club parking space. It became a huge issue in Mumbai and eventually the IS officers won out. They had to be given the extra membership that they were demanding. So it almost seems as if the IS can bully people at times. In this case, I'm not saying that happened, but there are cases where people have been bullied to ensure that the privileges are maintained. I would only summit two things, Rajdi. One, every IS officer is not similar to another. Sure. It might have been at, at a particular place, in a particular context. Whether they, I would say if they did that in Mumbai, and I should have known it, I belong to the Maharashtra cadre of the IAS, I belong. The, that such a misuse, I would call it an utter misuse of their power if that happened. No, no, it didn't. So it's I not if, sir. That. I know, I know for a fact, I am a member of that club. I know exactly the kind of communication that went out and eventually the club decided that we would rather not cross swords with an IAS officer. I think the club could have held out as, on their own, their own stand because I do know at least three of the reputed clubs in Mumbai. I happened to be a member of one of them when I was assigned in Mumbai that these, they refused to ever dilute their rules because irrespective, they said, you have to be a director rank to apply. For, I can name the two, name the two, two kind of uh, mm -hmm. stadiums or the clubs, the Wellington Pavilion as well as the CCI, that unless you are of a certain stature in, in terms of seniority, you cannot even apply. The okay. question is, if somebody has, in order to cover up their own fault, Mm -hmm. If they, they might have committed some error or if they want to cover it up and they are willing to give in, you can't help that. Okay. It was wrong on the part of the IS officers. I'll, it was equally I'll, wrong I'll, I'll come, on the part of right. the Mi Mi Mr. club. Dua, I'll, I'll come to what options a citizen has in such cases yeah. and that's a good point to take to you, Shailesh Gandhi, because, you know, in a way, uh, what can, let's say in this case, the athletes do? Here the story eventually came out in this morning's Indian Express. There was outrage as a result of it and Arvind Kejriwal's government acted. Obviously the athletes felt done out of training in the stadium while an IS officer was walking his dog in the stadium after 7pm. 
Now, it's not in every case that you can summon up this kind of media outrage and build pressure. What is the solution? You are a chief, you've been a former chief information commissioner. What do you do when, let's say, an IS officer, IPS officer, IRS officer uses his or her clout to, in a way, get unfair advantage, especially we find increasingly in these public spaces? Sardar Patel thought he had ruled out the feudal influence on India. The kings were sent packing home. Now we've got new kings, people who with power, money power, bureaucratic power or political power. Mm -hmm. All these kind of power and this includes senior people in the judiciary also. Mm -hmm. All these people with power misuse their power to gain special considerations and do get away with special favors. The case that you mentioned of Mumbai is a very well-known case. And Mr. Dua may not be aware of it, but no IAS officers association stood up and said this is wrong. I think it is, and I completely agree with Mr. Dua that not all IAS officers are similar. There are differences. But what is happening is the IAS officers associations act like trade unions, not representing the interests of the common man and India and democracy. So you're, you're saying the IAS officers should stand up whenever they see blatant abuse of power by their colleagues. Before I come to you, MN Singh, let Mr. Dua respond. Uh, also, yeah, just, yeah, just, just 30 seconds, yeah. uh, Randeep. Yes, go ahead. Also, whenever such instances come to the four officers must be suspended immediately and those who acted with such illegal orders must also bear the brunt. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Dua, you want to respond and then I'll go to MN Singh. The IAS Officers Association doesn't speak out when their own colleagues are involved in abuse of power. They act as a club. They act as almost a private club protecting their own. True or not? Or is that an exaggeration? I would, I would tell you, you know, I would go along with what Mr. Gandhi said. Mm -hmm. the, uh, they probably come into the picture in order to defend the rights of the IAS officers or to demand, uh, demand call it their legitimate or otherwise what they want to do, but rarely do they kind of criticize what their fellow members have done. Having said that, I would go along with, just give me 30 seconds on that. Mr. Gandhi mentioned about misuse of power by VIPs. I think it's rampant. i just give you an example. Uh, I happen to be in the most of the city of Pune, with which Rajdeep, you are probably very familiar, at a particular site where Ranji Trophy matches used to be held until the MCS stadium came up where the test matches are held. That was owned by the municipal corporation. On a particular politician, during the Pune festival, you know, Ganesh festival, which is there, used to hold bullock cart races there. The moment I saw it the very first day, I walked up to the, to the track and I said, no more. That was the last race. Even the rest of the cases are races are cancelled for the day. I wasn't very popular with that person in power or otherwise. Similarly, in another stadium, because we own two of them, a test cricketer of India had a shop, which was overbearing in terms of area, etc. I had to tell very clearly, say, that shop will, the protruding portions no, no, it's have to no, be no, you, you, pulled down. No, no, but will you tell off an IS officer? The point is, will you tell off your own IS officer? You're telling out politicians when they abuse power. You're telling off a cricketer who you said was using. What about your own fellow IS officers? But who will call I, out an I, IS officer when he or she abuses his or her power? I'm absolutely one with you on that. Every, anybody misusing his power, the VIP culture days are over. The okay. law of the land has to be followed and the people who've been associated with formulating of the rules and regulations, they have to be particularly more careful and make sure that they, are, right. they not only do the right thing, but they are seen to be doing the right thing as well. Okay. And that applies to every bureaucrat, irrespective of the service he or she belongs to. Let me take that to you, uh, uh, Mr. M. N. Singh. Because uh, the fact is the IPS is no different. We have instances where the IPS also has misused the powers that they have. People are even perhaps more scared in smaller towns of the IPS now than the IAS. 
you know who knows what the uh, what the ips officer will do if he or she is denied some privileges is there something systemically wrong or do you believe these are isolated cases now rajdeep uh, you were discussing a very general uh, thing in a very generic term coming coming no no i'm discussing a, i i'm giving you a specific example that was exposed this listen, morning sir com coming to the specific incident which has been reported in the indian express today yes i went through the news item once again and i found that the officer has denied it number 1 mm -hmm. number 2 the manager of the stadium he says i am not aware of any such thing as that has happened number 3 the indian express uh, representative went there at 7:30 the officer was walking his dog at that time there was no there was no player or sportsman in the stadium so i think this whole uh, the, the allegation which has appeared It's like making a mountain out of a mole hill. Oh come on, come on, Mr. M. Listen, no, 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 no that some of the staff of the of the stadium we are not happy that this officer was walking his dog at 7:30 to 8 o'clock mm -hmm. and they might have instigated such an uh, thing to the to the media i see no merit in this allegation at all and i think don't take it a case of an is and ips yes there may be individual cases where people are a little high and dead mm -hmm. but those are days are gone rajdeep now there are more politicians and more journalists and more other people who are showing their party around <laughs> all is ips are moving around in the cities without anything nobody recognizes them no 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 well rajdeep the power is very much there it is their job it is their duty the power is given by the law it is not that the is ips officers are grabbing the power it is there but these are all legal powers but flaunting the power yes. showing up is i think now is being exaggerated it is not true gone are the days i mean i have not seen it in bombay bombay is ips officers are move about like very ordinary people i have often seen them shopping in the amar sans and prem sans and all that they and their wives why are we bashing this the ghost of ias and ips i think very unfortunate kindly be fair to them also and this whole allegation against that ias officer that he was walking his dog and he had told the sportsman to shut down and that is not correct it is it needs to be inquired into i don't think we should take this um, defend this officer I, like this you know i i just i i just have a, a friend of mine having sent me a message he says a sports and youth affairs director an ips had ordered athletes and others not to practice in the morning or evening at kantivira stadium in bengaluru a few years ago because his wife wanted to run walk alone when it became a big issue officials denied everything and the issue got buried so there is a huge scope to deny i'm and, and i'm getting such stories ever since this story broke in the morning in the newspapers there are lots of instances that are being cited like this but you're saying this is exaggeration this is unfair i am engaging in is ips i am only limiting myself to this particular incident i am saying about this incident so Now, but in this incident so, sir, 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 sir one minute to a general is ips issue that is unfortunate no, no, that in, is what i am saying no no in this you know, incident in this also incident, why should Rajiv, athletes not be allowed to train after 7 pm why should in the no, high heart is, of summer athletes can't train after 7 pm but a well, government if, servant listen, can walk his dog on the synthetic track it's amazing rajdeep if the stadium rules allow by all means yes they can do that no is officer or ip officer go and shut it down and say don't practice is it is the stadium rules allow have you checked up the stadium rules the manager the choudhury the mm -hmm. manager of the stadium says that the timing is up to 6 o'clock and yes. in delhi 6 o'clock means dark then he says sometimes we go up to 7 o'clock but this happened at 7:30 Now, if the stadium rules, so are you telling me I would be allowed to walk my dog? Are you telling me I would be allowed to walk my dog on the stadium, which was locked for the average citizen? Come on! If if the stadium rules permit it, yes. If the stadium rules do not permit it, no. Now, like like you say, take the case of club CCI or what Wellington club here. Dogs are not allowed. 
you may have a dog, but you cannot take them to the club. Similarly, if the stadium rules do not permit, nobody will take it. No, Sir. why IAS officer, officer? No, even ministers cannot take it. You know, so we know. let us check up the rules of the stadium. Okay. And let us not go on bashing the IAS and IPS as a class. Please, for my heaven's sake. Okay. Don't. don't we are you know, very Shailesh Gandhi. In the present time. Shailesh Gandhi, are we bashing the IAS and IPS unnecessarily, unfairly? Mr. M. N. Singh says, you know, this is not fair to bash the IAS and IPS in this manner. Are we being unfair to them? You call them the new VVIP Rajas. There is likely to be an inquiry into this incident. And Mr. M. N. Singh has just described the script of what the evidence is going to be. Uh -huh. This in India, unfortunately, our rule of index, rule of law index has dropped to 79. We are a pathetic system. Uh -huh. And People with power refuse to admit that they make mistakes. The right thing, the royal thing to do would be for that officer to say that I made a mistake, I'm sorry. This just doesn't happen because you can get away with complete false statements and the evidence can be multiplied. And media also does not pursue these cases. And media cannot. I, I can see it. I'm, I'm not blaming media. No, it's do you believe this is the tip of the iceberg? You were information commissioner. You may have got many complaints about bureaucrats, about police officers. Do you believe this is a, a, a tip of the iceberg in terms of abuse of power? And the abuse of power could be, let's say, someone gets membership uh, of a club, of a privileged club, by breaking the rules. Do you believe that happens? I am only saying that this is not true only of the bureaucrats. This is true of those who wield power. There is a slight difference. I'm not targeting okay. only the bureaucrats. You know, in a, in a, those who feel power are allowed to get away with this. And that is because our rule of law index is so pathetic. Mm -hmm. We need to do some introspection and say without a higher rule of law index, India cannot become a great country no matter what else we do. You know, we, I, I've just got another story and this is a reminder of course of how politicians operate. Sharad Pawar and other Maharashtra ministers turned an athletic track into a VVIP car park a few years ago. Story reported, in fact, on 28 June 2021. Uh, they used a running track meant for athletes as a parking lot. And this again became a controversy. Mr. Dua, who's, who's the real problem here? The Neta or the Babu? See, Netas will come and go, Mr. Dua. The Babus remain forever. I think the problem is a little wider than that, Rasdeep. Why does the public tolerate? I go to that extent. If uh, I'm, I'm one with Mr. Eman Singh saying do not condemn a person merely on the basis of a media report mm -hmm. unless it's been established, verified and established, which I'm sure this particular incident at the Agra Stadium will be subjected to very soon. But the question is, if there is a blatant misuse, it's an obvious misuse, Mm -hmm. The media must play its role fully and to the health. I actually, if it is true, I compliment this, these two youngsters, the one who wrote the story and one who... Okay, so you, 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 believe, you believe it is, a, it is a misuse of power if the facts as they have been stated are and therefore... Probably, I, I think it will be very difficult to deny that what? if it is actually... Okay, let me, let me ask fact, both of you... Let me ask both the of right. Let me ask you, Mr. M. N. Singh, in conclusion, give me an instance where the IPS and IS officer speaks out against their own. You know, you are a very powerful association, IPS, IS officer. Why don't they speak out against their own? Why don't they condemn? You've just had a terrible incident today, a, a few weeks ago, in Jharkhand, where an IS officer was found with crores of rupees. Right? She's been suspended. But my point is, when will we see the IAS and IPS officers not acting as some club where they protect their own? They act as trade well, clubs. Well, Rajdeep, as far as the Jharkhand case is concerned, yes, the due process of law is in progress. That officer, lady officer, has been arrested and researched, and the law has taken its course. Sure. And she will be dealt with. Now, Nobody has come out to defend her because if she has done the wrong thing, she's been, she, she will have to face the music. Right. Now, my point is, my point, Rajdeep, is that this particular incident, which is the topic of the Indian Express reporting today, is contentious, is not appears to be true, seems to be exaggerated. In any case, no, you do not take it to the IAS and IPS. Why are people jealous of IAS and IPS? IAS and IPS are public servants. They are doing donkey's job. 
and to say, to to are uh, 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 i sir, i have high regard for you from your days when i was a cub reporter and you were police commissioner of mumbai itne bhi bechare nahi hai please don't <laughs> call it i am not saying raja hai but bechare to nahi hai please don't say poor ias ips officer rajdeep you are the grandson of an ip officer yes i am i am the grandson but i am and i am also seeing a police commissioner who now is being prosecuted or is is being charged in your case with serious corruption but that apart let's not call them bechara let's agree that the ips ias need to take a strong stand when if any of their colleagues abuse their power that's all i'm saying yeah of course of course i will always i will always say that any corrupt officer any officer who has misused the power must be punished and punished very severely okay. i am i do not understand for any officer who has misused his power like what is happening today in maharashtra is so pathetic and i feel ashamed of it let me tell you very publicly on your channel right. what is happening and i hope that they will be punished but okay. then then this is very unfortunate don't please my only point is is ips as a class they are the backbone of the administration of the government of the government any time right. and they are doing the donkey's job so don't paint them with the same brush the whole side is okay no, i won't individual officers okay. must be punished okay i think that's fair let's not paint an entire class of officers because of perhaps the cases that come to light but clearly it's time for introspection let me tell you we in the media also need to introspect look at the number of facilities that perhaps we get with our accreditation and other benefits that we might get so us in the media you in the police you in the bureaucracy maybe someone in the judiciary all need to look at the vvip culture and of course our netas who are top of the pyramid shailesh gandhi mn singh ajay dua all old friends from mumbai days thank you very much for joining us on the news today